goodness gracious the water is actually higher than usual due to all the heavy rain that we had just recently but i think that there shouldn't be a problem for the video that we're going to shoot today so if you are an avid fan here of this youtube channel you know that just a little while ago i shot a video doing a little review of my 450 dollars saint croix legend elite road as a matter of fact i did that review right over here at the exact same spot if you haven't watched that video yet i'm going to leave a link in the card so you can go check it out before watching this one and obviously after i published the video you know i got all different kinds of comments mostly positive comments but of course there was a certain group of people who decided to come on the channel to voice their opinions right not everyone agreed that that was a good road as a matter of fact you know people just started to come over and they were like yeah man i can buy a much cheaper road than that and i can catch the same fish that you catch all day right you also had the me 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 bucket brigade kind of uh, actually not bucket brigade the me 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 brigade kind of come in and just be like me 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 ugly stick twenty dollars hashtag indestructible <laughs> you know kind of just tell me yeah man I want ugly stick right and it does the same thing that your four hundred and fifty dollar rod does so I don't need the one rod that is that expensive but the bottom line is a lot of people they were not able to fathom why do you need such an expensive rod to do fishing out there so taking that in consideration and to, even to illustrate my point of view and my point when it comes to this matter in today's video we're going to do a review of the cheapest rod in the market okay here in my hands i have a rod that you can find at your local walmart for less than four dollars Yes, I've said it, less than four dollars. People from the favelas in Brazil can afford this rod. I'm going to leave the receipt in this video so you all can see that this cost me three dollars and 58 cents before taxes at my local Walmart, right? So the main objective of the day will be for us to test this rod right over here and see for real if we can do the same things with this rod at a cheaper price that we could do with the $450 St. Croix <laughs> Legend Elite, okay? So let me open this rod, this rod as you folks can see is new. Let me open this rod, assemble this rod and we are going to get this lane started. Boy oh boy, where do I even get started with this stuff? So this is a 10 feet bamboo pole, as you all can see, all right? And uh, it actually came with the line and the float and the split shot and the hook, right? And two pieces that you need to fish. However, I don't know what's up with this company. They only gave me this little bit of line, right? I mean, come on, man. At least give me the length of the line all the way to the end of the bamboo rod so that I can have a higher castability but I didn't bring any additional line so we're going to be fishing pretty much with six feet of line attached to this rod uh, the tip is very sensible I actually followed the instructions on the rod that came with the rod right by tying my line about eight inches below the tip of the rod right because it is said it kind of helps you know support it because i'm telling you i mean this bamboo rod right over here man it really feels like <laughs> it's going to break anytime i mean i don't know how i feel about this and and don't forget i grew up in brazil fishing bamboo rods right this is a very low quality bamboo rod but anyways, right, we're going to put some bait on the stuff right now. I may change at least the hook that came with the stuff, okay? Because, I mean, this hook right over here, eh, I may put a hook that is a tad smaller. And then we're going to put some bait on this and see if the, we can actually catch some stuff on the setup. Just started my fishing session, putting my mummy worm on. I'm actually getting a call out here. Oh, this is a spam. This is a spam. Too much spam. And the scammers. 
out there nowadays. So yeah, I don't really have live bait today. So instead, I'm actually using the Euroteco Mummy Worm, right? These were actually once real wax worms. They're now mummified wax worms. And the greatest benefit to it all is that obviously this does not get bad, right? Or better saying, it takes a long time to spoil. You can actually get this at eurotaco.net, all right? I changed my hook to a smaller hook. Of course, I got tangled here in the vegetation, but I changed my hook to a tinier hook, size 18. I got my jacko egg bucket right here with me. So yeah, we're finally ready to um, give our first cast with the, with the bamboo rod and uh, you know. All right, let's see how, how far this reaches. It's going to be a struggle today, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a struggle. I cannot believe this. We are like four minutes into this video, haven't really caught a fish yet. These are the moments that, you know, people being pigs kind of really paid off. I just found myself a strand of fluorocarbon over here that is not really prime, but it will work. If I knew that this rod that is fully equipped to fish came with so little line, I would have brought my own line, right? Man, can you imagine a person goes to Walmart, gets a setup, goes out fishing to find out that the line is, you know, six feet of line in there? You can't fish like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an Alberto knot to attach this fluorocarbon to that fluorocarbon so that we can make our line a little bit longer. Now we are talking about the proper art of bamboo pole fishing. This is how I used to fish as a kid back in Brazil. Maybe not with, you know, this little line down here, right? Because here's actually pretty shallow. But look at the castability. Let me show you the castability now, okay? Look at that. Oh, oh, more than doubled our castability, all right? Now, are we actually going to catch any fish on this stuff, even with this castability? I guess we will see. Oh, 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 oh! All right, easy, easy, boy, easy! Heck yeah, boy, we got a fish! <laughs> We got our first fish of the day. Wow, which is a pretty nice one, too. On the bamboo pole, man. It's a big red breast sunfish. Look at that. Heck yeah, Euro Taco. Mummy worm. Yeah, all right. One species. One species. I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, this fish is pissed. But you know what? I would be pissed, too, if I fell for the good old bamboo road right that's actually a very decent sized red breast sunfish too in it's a spawning colors here in new jersey okay our first fish of the day very very nice look at that huh nice eating size you know what i'm saying but we're not eating anything today at all so i'm going to release it over here be careful not to step on our bamboo road all right back you go look at that little fella right there that's what's up. Mm, all right, you know, we're not getting skunked. $3.48 put to good use with a little bit of help of some trash floor carbon that we found, but no, we're getting there. That's good. That's good. You gotta be careful, but the left side is good, so. I thought the left side was fine. Come on, get out of there, man. I got limited line on this pole, man. Dang right. Let me see if I lost any line over here. Oh, okay, I didn't. But now I'm going to take like five minutes just to untangle this mess, right? Yeah, Leo, there's no difference. Cheaper rod, expensive rod. 
the heck out of here, man. Eh? What was that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Had something come check it out. Oh! You've got to be kidding me. Well, I'll tell you what. It is our second species of the day. I'm not gonna take a photo of this one, okay? But, you know, tackle mummy worm. <laughs> Catches everything out here, you know what I'm saying? Gosh, darn, this is Japanese Tanago fishing now, son. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is European. This is European, you know, man? We just put the maggot, we've got to put the maggot on the hook, mate and cast our barber down there where the carp are swimming. Do Europeans even use the term uh, barber? I don't know, I, I'll have to ask Carl or Alex <laughs> one of these days. Oh my lord, son, that's uh, okay. <laughs> that's a slighter, bigger bluegill, okay. On the mummy worm, it's not like we're not catching the panfish out here on our amazing bamboo rod. I'll tell you all that. But in terms of difficulties, is it more difficult for us to land fish on the stuff, right? This is food for thought for you all, all right? Ay, 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 son. Wow, well, at least we're not getting skunked out here. Look at that, huh? Lit to beauty all right go back where you belong eh, that is great okay easy now boy easy okay we safe that's what i like to see son all right let's give a few casts to the left side over here and see what we go oh oh Easy now, brother. Okay, that was a bad cast. Right there. Just had a bite right there. Come on, fishy, fishy. Oh, yeah. Fish on, boy. Fish on. That's it. Last 15 minutes, a miracle happens, and a pumpkin seed comes. To us, the gods of fishing were probably like, man, you're about to leave. We gotta give you at least one more species of fish, right? So we got here the mighty Lepomis gibosus. Wow, in very beautiful colors too. Kind of spawning colors too. You know what? This is a great day of finishing the day. I couldn't ask for any other species of fish, right? Because the pumpkin seed is truly a very very beautiful species look at that look at how majestic this thing is right so i'm actually quite happy that we're finishing this fishing session with this particular species of fish okay look i'm gonna leave the numbers above over here but i gotta tell you finishing today with three different species of fish albeit all some fish it already blew my mind, okay, when it comes to my expectations, when it comes to this particular fishing rod. Now, obviously, I shot this YouTube video using the cheapest Walmart bamboo fishing rod, right? To kind of prove a point here on the YouTube channel. Now, the main idea here is, did we actually catch some fish using a $3 and 48 cents fishing rod yes we did but how comfortable and how easy was it for us to land this fish today could we could we actually have used some other gear that were perhaps more expensive to make my fishing more effective today save more time and perhaps, right, even have more castability to land more species and bigger sizes of fish because we, because we, have, we could have covered more water. That is the point of this video. When, when you go out there to buy a fishing rod, 
right? Be it a three dollars and forty-eight cents, or a twenty dollars Shakespeare ugly stick, or a one hundred dollars something, or even a four hundred and fifty dollars Saint Croix Legend Elite, right? That kind of stuff is like buying a car. Now you see, you can go out there and buy a Chevrolet, you can buy a Honda Civic, you can buy a Tesla, you can buy a Bugatti. And all of those brands, what they have in common is that at the end of the day, they are going to fulfill their mission. They are going to bring you from location A to location B because that is what a car is supposed to do. But if you come to me and you tell me that all of those things are the same, right? Then I will look at you like you're crazy, you know? Because it is not the same. When you buy more expensive cars, of course they got, they got more things that are going to make your life easier, right? More effective and make you more comfortable. If you buy a Tesla, goodness gracious, the, the car can drive itself out there. If you buy expensive cars nowadays, actually not even that expensive, right? You can sit on a hot summer afternoon and you have AC blasting on your butt because it comes from the chair. You know what I'm saying? And this is exactly the same thing when it comes to fishing rods. You can buy a $3.48 rod. You can buy a Shakespeare ugly stick, right? With a spinning reel that is going to catch your fish out there and be very resistant when it comes to it. But if you do have the money and you have the means to splurge a little bit and you pick the right brands, EPF guarantees you, okay, that you are going to fish more effectively, all right, and you're going to fish in a more comfortable way with better gear. That is the moral of this video. All right, I'm going to leave this fishing rod over here, okay, right next to this trunk because I will never, ever use something like this again a lot of you subscribers are actually very familiar with this fishing spot so if you're looking for a free bamboo rod okay of charge i'm just gonna leave it over here by the tree okay you can just come and pick it up tell you all what i am pretty much done for today i can't go back to my house and pick up my daiwa kage you know or my san croix and go out there back to the spinning gear. Thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Next video coming in two days on the YouTube channel, Thailines, and take it easy.